in the womb, God breathed life into me. As I became aware, He spoke to me. When you see life, live it, my child. Live it well and live it to me. God bless you. Say hi. Hi, how's it going? Howdy, howdy. This is Chris. Yeah, Chris, the Wooded Beardsman, and we got Bob Hansler. Bob Hansler, South Texas. And there's the dog. Yeah, the famous, world famous Huck. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I snuck off to, and I told you, yeah, I haven't introduced him to our little thing here yet, but that's no big deal. Yeah. This is, I've been following this guy a long time. Yeah. Seriously, this is the guy that got me started subscribing to people. I was like, wait, there are people actually doing something fun and worthwhile on here. And then he shouted this guy out. Yeah. I started following this guy. Who made my daughter cry? She was like, who are you going to see? And she watched the video where you were doing the update. Oh, no. She's praying for you. So everybody, anyway, everybody, <laughs> uh, everybody. but uh, this is our first meet and greet, and these dudes are awesome so far. You got to tell everybody, <clears throat> you guys, why you're here. You, you, you're gonna help us get a hog. Yeah. And an armadillo. And an armadillo. I failed at the armadillo. Y'all yeah. have audio of that. Yeah. <laughs> I will have to edit out some of the words, but y'all have audio of me failing at the armadillo. Um, and. So, we'll so, so the I, the thing is, my inex, general inexperience is not the hiccup with me got not getting an armadillo. If you can't get one, that's I literally I catch armadillos all the time. I don't know what's going on. My wife keeps telling me I'm narcissistic, which I think just means that I'm handsome. I'm not real sure. And these guys probably same thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's just twice a week. <laughs> just twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll catch all. I'm gonna turn you around now. See, it's really me. I'm not just faking it. It's me with these guys. Yeah. So, anyway, God bless y'all. Y'all still alive? Don't die. Wait. Rainbow unicorns. There are more horses out here, but uh, let's just say Canadians think those look just like mooses. I'm just joking. Pretty huh? I know y'all won't be able to see this, but there's a gar down there in the water. That dark shadow. Anyway, it's right about. Turn my finger up. Oh. It's on my finger. Oh. Too big. Right there is a car. <laughs> this is Wes S. This is awesome. All fluffy, fuzzy. And one thing I was able to figure out about this guy, okay, I just trimmed is it. he yeah. likes things yeah. to be yeah. right. He kind of like, but I didn't realize it. Don't realize it. It's oh, yeah. Too, yeah. too late, so I trimmed them all. This time we should have no problems with it. Exactly, I've got to order in that. It wouldn't be all weather, it would only so be when it was like really dry because it would be more wispy, I guess. So far, the video is done. Who got me? You filming? Yeah, yeah he is. <laughs> I'm talking about my dead cat and the wispiness. Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up.
this is uh Wes has some it's actually a sound check. We just got through I was sitting here getting ready to making sure that y'all would be able to hear when I was talking to, to Bob. That's a one thing about my trip down there is I regret not getting to spend more time around him. I mean we got to spend a little bit of time, the man's smarter than attack, but I you know I really want to go back. The things the man knows, the things he can do with the battles he's having to fight, it really amazes me. God bless. I got it. Let's see what happens. Always on the other side of the road. He says, You ain't bring me, don't worry, I don't want to go. You're good. This time, uh, I'm gonna try walking right to the middle of that mud patch. Guys, this is only 25 pounds here. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? I really don't want to kill him. If he gets off, he gets off. There we go. All right. You want me to come down there and tackle him? Dude, that, if you want to wrestle in the mud, that's up to you. All right. Cool. Whoa. Oh, he took the bottom of my glue. He's gorgeous. Do it now. He's gorgeous. That's cool. I need. Wes wants to bring him in live. We'll bring him in live. No problem. He's right there. Huh? He's right at the bank. He's it's right cool. at the bank. I ain't never got that thing in shoes. Well, let's do this thing, Wes. Love, love. Love, love. Thank you. Just in case I need to put my hands in his mouth. All right, do this West Texas style. You threw that on the top of that thing, you monster. That's your biggest guard, man? Yes. Congratulations. All right, how many hooks you got in the, in the water? Just one. Okay, is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. Oh! Did he just break it? That's okay. I touched you. You're mine. Tag. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Wes, Wes, scoot your body backwards. Yeah, there you go. Keep going. There you go. Scoot your foot. There you go. Almost there. <laughs> Just there don't, you go, man. don't panic. That's the key to just about everything, isn't it? Yeah. Go with it. Yeah, it's just a wobbly to do. A lot more maneuverable, though. So you can't get a trolling motor for him? Oh! You work from the shoulders, you don't lean into it. Thanks. Lean back, dude. Oh, am I supposed to do that? That current ain't nothing, is it? Not right here. Can you see if I'm turning around? Yeah, I think so. Uh... back in you got a big shallow up there within the 100 yards. You stay on the right and come up there and walk on that gravel bank and hang out. Oh, wow. It's good for going out there and spear, spear fishing a bit. Oh, really? Because the fish go back and forth right there as it sh slowly shallows up. It's all gravel right there. Where the water's rushing? Yeah. The water rushes to the left and channels around 
That's a bit of a dangerous spot. It's easier to go up on the gravel or, or, or slow yourself around it. Once you get past it, you can go straight to your uh, throw lines you got down there. Oh, wow. You'll be there in less than five minutes. It's like sitting in a chair waiting for stuff to happen. I like this. Especially if you want to set a bunch of drop lines and all these willows hanging out over the, over the water. Yeah. Makes it real nice, man. Hi, honey. I want a one of these. Only I want it in Muddy Girl. Yeah. It is. It's just, it's just scary. Too easy, isn't it? Big. <laughs> Once you just like, pretend like you're just sitting in a, I don't know, a, would this be like a bleacher chair? You just, pretty much. When you go to buy one, Put them on the ground and sit in them a couple times because a lot of them are just uncomfortable on your low back. Get on your arms, though. I bet it would be that. Mm -hmm. But imagine. The first pullout's two hours from here. The next pullout's another three hours, three and a half. Oh, well, I don't want to go that way. <laughs> well, if you were prepared for it and you had a picnic and a bunch of water, well, yeah, that would it'd be, be cool. a great trip, wouldn't it? Yep. An awesome trip. Like, I've done a little bit of canoeing, but I haven't gotten on a river yet. Well, this river changes so much in the course of a couple hours. The beauty you see and the animals that you come across, the pigs will be down here getting water wallowing while you go by. The turkeys are everywhere, the deer are everywhere. You got the nutrients, the wood ducks, all kinds of waterfowl just sitting there watching you go by. All the turtles, all the gar that surface right next to you, and the catfish and everything else. So the you, amount of life you see is just fantastic. Are you trying to sell me the property or just convince me to come squat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this property's never for sale. Yeah, that is awesome. This is me. This is this is a West Texas whale coming in to beach himself. Actually, I don't want to do that yet, but I'm going to. This is this was fun. Ah! And I didn't die. Not even a little bit. <laughs> And another new experience to add to the books. Yeah, there you go. Oh. When in South Texas, man. When in South man, Texas, man. do South Texas stuff. When you realize it's not going to dump you, it's not that bad. <laughs>